Today, I'm going over an AI personal assistant bot that's actually able to do all kinds of everyday tasks, which will save businesses a lot of time. And you can sell this to your clients for over $10,000 and then ask a one or $2,000 retainer for running costs. So in this video, I'm going over three different things about the personal AI assistant. In the first part, I'm going to show you an overview. In the second part, I'm actually going to show you some demos. In the third part, I'm going to explain how it actually works. So I would highly recommend watching all the parts, not skipping any part and watching it the whole way through because otherwise you will get confused. So at the end of the video, I'm actually sharing with you guys Guys, how you can get your hands on the templates so you just have to import them and not build them out yourselves and without further ado let's get just right into this video all right so here i have the ultimate personal ai assistant and i'm pretty excited to show you guys because this is just really awesome don't be afraid it looks complicated but it really isn't i'm going to walk you through step by step how you can set this up for either yourself or your client now how this works is um, here we have a trigger from Telegram. So as you can see on the right of the screen, we have a bot where you can actually just send input through either through text or a voice note. And then it will basically read that. And based on your task, it can either act as an email agent, a calendar agent or a content creator agent. So first to show you the email agent here, we have connected Gmail and we are able to either send emails, reply to emails, label emails, create drafts, get emails, get labels and mark as unread. Then for the calendar agent, we are able to update events, delete events, get events if uh, the AI needs to read calendar of a calendar event, right? We can create events and we can even create events with an attendee. So we can invite an email address to a uh, event, to an event. And then finally, here we have the content creator. So we can do a couple of things here. Uh, for example, we can write blogs. So uh, especially if your client runs a website with uh, and they frequently yeah make blogs on there they can actually just um yeah make it through here and then once the ultimate assistant created a task then it will give a response back to the telegram so they can either say okay it uh, succeeded or uh, maybe if there's some fault in the setup then they will give a fault and they will also conclude what they actually did right so as you can see here i've tested a bit and um, it can, for example, say the blog has been successfully updated, the blog has been sent to the emails and stuff like that. So it's pretty insane. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. What I'm going to show you here, first, I'm going to run a couple demos so that you can see that it actually works and how it works. So here I have my calendar open and my email so I can show you uh, some examples here, right? So first, what I'm going to do is tell uh, the bot to create a calendar event. Hey, please make an event for uh, today at 2 p.m um we and call it meeting and make it one hour so we just sent that within uh telegram so now we're just having to wait for a bit to it for it to be uploaded okay there you go so now we just have to wait for a bit until it's uh, executed um so maybe this uh, most of the time this takes a couple seconds so we just have to wait for a bit and as you can see here the event titled meeting has been successfully created for today at 2 p.m and will last for one hour so as you can see here, right there, now it, it is made. So this is, this is like a very, very simple example. I just want to make it as simple as possible. Um, so we can also, for example, show the, um, yeah, the email. So for example, we can say, um, let me think. We can say, create a draft. And um, that draft needs to be sent to enzo.steenstra at gmail.com. And it's basically just an email to check up with him, uh, ask how he is and what things he is, he is up to. Okay, so I really just made this up. So we're have, uh, we're going to wait for a bit. Awesome. So the draft email to Enzo Sanchez has been created. Just checking in. Here's the contact. All right. How does that look? So if we go here to concepts, right there, concept, just checking in. And there you go. So it read my, it read my uh, email. And then checking in, hi Enzo, just wanted to check in and see how you're doing and what things you've been up to. Looking forward to hearing from you. So this, these are really simple examples, but you can get really creative and advanced here. Um, so we can also say something like, I want you to create a blog about a specific subject. And then I want you to create a draft to a, sp a specific email address containing this blog um, and basically go from there. So I'm going to do that. All right, create me a blog uh, about how email marketing is very important for uh, marketing agencies. And, and I want you to put that blog into a concept to enzo.steenstra at gmail.com. Um, and then in the intro of the email, you're just going to say, hey, 
Uh, hi Enzo, I've just created this blog, see what you think. And then under there, you're going to paste the blog uh, that you've written. So this is some more of an advanced task, but I just want to show you that this works as well. Okay, the blog on email marketing has been successfully sent, shared to that via email. All right, let me see. Yeah, and as you can see here now, uh, so under send, we see that, <clears throat> that they created a whole blog. Now he did make a mistake within the name, so it's actually sent to an email that uh, does not exist. But that's not a problem because um, what we can do here then is basically say, um, please make it a draft to the corrected email and, and then just put your email right there. Make sure to make it a draft and um, write an introduction beforehand. All right, the draft email to Enzo Steins has been created and includes the introduction as requested alongside the blog content. Let me know if there's anything we can do. All right, so if we go to concepts here, we're just going to refresh it. There you go. Um, hi, Enzo, I've just created this blog. See what you think, and there you go. So this was just an example again, but I just wanted to sh show you that how easy it is to just send a voice note to the, uh, to, to the button Telegram then it will just read and, and do whatever you want. Now, I'm going to show you how I actually set this up and how you can get the templates for this because um, I'm not going to expect you to completely build this. You can literally download the template, so I'm going to go into that at the end of the video. So basically how this works is we've connected Telegram, as you can see here, and it, within Telegram here, it's just getting a message, right? So it triggers on a message. Now then it's going to read either uh, if we have sent a a text, so normally a normal text, or if we send a, a voice note. Now, if we've sent a voice note right here, it will get the file and it will transcribe through AI. So it will transcribe the recording and then it will put that into the ultimate assistant. Now, this ultimate assistant has a very simple, um, very simple prompt. Let me quickly get this open here. So the prompt here is very simple. And the reason why um, we have different workflows if i go out here why we have different workflows is that first of all it's um way easier to overview right so we just have one workflow for email agent one workflow for the calendar agent and one workflow for the content creator instead of having everything in one workflow uh, this just works way better in my opinion so if we go back to the prompt here and this way we can also make sure that it's just really uh, that we can just create really simple problems for every single ai agent and that every ai agent has just one task to fulfill so uh, that way the ai is more accurate so here overview you're the ultimate personal assistant your job is to send the user's uh, query to the correct tool you should never be writing emails or creating even summaries you just need to call the correct tool so that's what i uh, explained just now that we made sure that every single ai agent has its own yeah job to do and therefore it can just focus on one specific task it's it's actually just the same as like an employee that wants to just focus on one task this is exactly the same so here uh tools so we have the email agent right we have the calendar agent the content agent etc and here we have some rules. So some actions require you to look up contact information first. For the following actions, you must get the contact information and send that to the agent who needs it. So sending emails, drafting emails, and creating calendars event with attendee. Um, now that was that. Uh, you can you can read the whole thing if you want to. So basically, then we have set this up to an open AI model. So chat GP, uh, GPT 4.0. Um, so I think it's even really cheap to, to run this. I think you're maybe paying one cent per, per message that you send out or request that you send out or even less, right? So then here we have the three, uh, AI agents. So basically what we did here is, uh, as you can see here, we have the different workflows with the other AI agents. And what we basically did here is, uh, uh, connected the tools. So once the uh, personal assistant, the ultimate personal assistant, uh, notices that an email needs to be sent or something with email, then it will basically just go to uh, the workflow email agent and then it will start, right? So we've set the other uh, workflow up in a way that we, that it only gets executed by another workflow, which is this one. Now then also the calendar agent works exactly the same, but then we've sent it to calendar agent and then the content creator agent to content creator agent. <laughs> So then also we have uh, Tavily, which is basically um, another API which can uh, search the internet. 
and then also a calculator um, for funds, you know. So then what will happen is uh, the ultimate assistant will basically, yeah, uh, recognize based on your message that you sent in the Telegram bot, um, which tool to use or which agent to use. And then once it used this agent, it will go back to the main workflow and it will basically just spit out a response um, based on the outcomes of the, um, yeah, the outcomes of the task that were yeah, made. So let's say, as you can see here, this wasn't uh, a test. So there's a conflicting event already. Um, so what it can actually do is it can also, when making, for example, calendar events, it can read your calendar and see if there's a conflicting event. And then it can say that to you in the Telegram uh, bot saying, okay, there was a conflicting event. I can show you that as well um, right here when I was testing before this recording. So... Yeah, for example, here it says there's a conflicting event already scheduled from 12 p.m. to 12.30 p.m. today. So it, it can also just give you all the updates so you know exactly what's going on, what the AI did. Um, so that's pretty amazing. Now, here, I'm just going to go over the email agent, which works, yeah, very simple. So what we did here is, like I said, when executed, it goes to the AI agent, uh, the email agent, and then it will, um, uh, we have another prompt here. Again, a very simple prompt because uh, it's just focused on one specific task and that's being responsible for the emails. So here you're basically saying you are an email, assist, uh, email management assistant. All emails must be formatted professionally in HTML, signed off as Enzo. So for every single email that is sent under there, it just says Enzo um, or your own name or your client's name or whatever. So then email management tool. So you, uh, we say you send emails to send emails, use create drafts if the user asks for a draft, use get emails to retrieve emails when requested, use get labels to retrieve labels, Mar uh, use mark unread to mark an email as unread. You must, get, uh, you must use get emails first to, um, so you have the message ID of the email to flag. Well, I can go about this, you can read it if you want. So then it will go through this AI again through the uh, ChatGPT. Um, <clears throat> ChatGPT. Uh, I think actually, I oh yeah, I used NADN free OpenAI API credits. So you can actually get free N NADN credits at the beginning. Otherwise, you just have to connect your API to that. So then once it got the uh, request, it's just going to search for the right tool to you. So either send email and then, yeah, it's basically, it, it creates the... Um, the message and then it automatically hears from either the telegram group or a, t a telegram chat where to send the email to what the subject is and that's all created right so um yeah same things for here so like i said we can either uh, reply to an email because then what will happen is first it will read the email uh, in your in your inbox and then uh, it will make a reply and then send for uh, send to that reply label email same thing if you have a lot of labels now uh, in this email, I don't have a lot of labels here. So, because this is an old email address. So, um, yeah, it can read the emails and then basically label emails um, like that. Now, it can also, like I said, create drafts. I showed that in the demo, get emails. So, that's basically reading emails and get labels is reading the labels that exist. And then once the email agent either this did one of these tasks, it will basically create a conclusion either with a try again and then it will say, unable to perform task, try again. And if it did succeed, then it will just basically say an output. So based on what the AI did, it will give you a conclusion of what happened. Um, and if there were any faults or mistakes, then um, yeah, that will be um, mentioned as well. Now for the calendar event, yeah, same story. So here we have the calendar AI agent basically saying you're a, a calendar assistant. Your responsibilities include creating, getting, and deleting events in the user's calendar. So then... Yeah, like I said, it explains again which task to use, uh, use at which use case. And then final note, here's the current date and time. So then we basically mapped it out as now. Uh, if a duration for your event isn't specified, assume it will be one hour. Now you can change this to whatever you want. And then here it will basically just read this again, have it to the, uh, well, in this case, the NNN free OpenAI credits, but I also have my OpenAI account here connected. And then you can just basically update an event, delete event, get event, create event, or create event with attendee. Um, and what is also very cool is that, for example, you say, I want you to create an event with an attendee, but you don't mention the attendee, then it's going to ask you, okay, um, we, we haven't noticed that you sent the attendee. Can you please confirm the email address to send the invite to? So then your attendee will also get invites and stuff like that. So 
Um, did, yeah, like I said, it, it's it's the perfect um, personal assistant. So then for the content creator agent as well, very simple. So it will basically just be like this. You're a skilled AI blog writer specializing in engaging, well-structured and informative content. Your writing style is clear, compelling and tailored to the target audience. You will optimize for readability, SEO and value, ensuring blogs are well-researched, original and free of fluff. So then tools, Tevely, use this to search the web about the requested topic. So then it will actually read as you guys didn't, uh, if you guys didn't understand, it will, based on the request, it will search the internet for the topics, right? Um, to actually write blogs that contain factual information. Um, and then format all blog content in HTML using proper headings, H1, H2 paragraphs, bullet points and links. All citations from the Tavily tool must be preserved with clickable hyperlinks so readers can access the original sources, maintain a natural human-like tone, use a ver uh, a varied sentence uh, structures and include relevant examples or data when needed. Uh, structure content for easy reading with concise paragraphs and logical flow. Always ensure factual accuracy and align the tone with the intended brand or purpose. So, yes, yeah, pretty straightforward actually. Um, and then again, we have the AI model here connected then uh, they can either send a response or if there was a fault, they can try again, error occurred, please try again later. So you know exactly what's going on. I'm going to save this for now. And yeah, that's basically it. And then from all these workflows, it gets sent back to here and then give you a response in Telegram. And there you have it, the ultimate AI assistant. Now you can build even more workflows and tools to this, right? So now I just have three, but you can make even more, right? So you can maybe, well, first of all, it can be Gmail, it can be Outlook, it can be iCloud, whatever, right? So that's first, there, there are so, there's so much like uh, flexity in here. It's not just that it only works with Gmail, but you can just be very creative with this. Now in my community, I've literally laid out step-by-step step how you can set this up uh, yourself for your clients or for yourself. I genuinely, genuinely think you can really make a lot of money from this. Now, like I said, within my school, you can access the templates for this. The school link is down in the description, which also show a very, very comprehensive step-by-step -step guide on how you can set this up for yourself. So creating the Telegram bot, uh, making sure that all the open AI stuff is connected, how you connect all your emails, your calendars, um, how you make sure that everything is just set up correctly so that there are no faults will be occurred. And if you really set this up and you really know how this works, you can set this up within 30 minutes to an hour. And like I said, the returns I already told you. So the school is down in the description below. Just join and you'll be able to see everything, uh, get the templates, which you can literally just, if you go here, I'm going to show you how you can implement, implement, implement a template. So you just create a new workflow. You go here, you import from file, you go to the ultimate, for example, this one, and there you have it. It's really, really easy. You just imported it like that. Now, once you join my school community, you will get have access to all the templates. So, and this workflow and the email agent and the co calendar agent and the content creator agent, and you can just import it the same way. It's really, really easy. Also, you will get a step-by-step -step guide how you can actually set up everything. So create your Telegram bot, um, connect your open AI stuff, get everything sorted and set up. I think even if you really know how to set this up, you can set it up within 30 or uh, 30 minutes or one hour. So I definitely think it's worth it. Now within the school community, you will also get, first of all, access to a like-minded community, wanting to reach financial location or time freedom or all three. So it's pretty awesome. We, we are actually creating a nice, nice community. Uh, also A to Z courses, how you can skill your agency uh, and add seven to 11 and a half thousand dollars in extra monthly revenue in the first 90 days. Um, and that's actually guaranteed. I'll, otherwise, I'll just refund you all the money back that you've spent on the on the course. Besides that, we have what, weekly group coaching calls going over different topics every single week, and you get Go High Level for 100% free. You can make unlimited Go High Level sub accounts for 100% free if you're a member of the community. I definitely think that the value stack is 100% worth it. I think I even I 50 x the amount of value that you get compared to what you're paying. So. I would highly recommend it. I think it's an awesome product. So I hope you enjoyed the video. School group is linked down below in the description and then uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.